Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we are going to discuss uh, picking a profitable niche market. Now, as we may, as we have this discussion, what we want to think about here is that your first objective in making money online, in any case, is going to be picking a profitable niche, or we call that a market, niche or market, we can use those words interchangeably, to find a product and sell it. Now, you will want to look for a niche or market, whatever you want to call it, where people are desperate to solve their problems or accomplish goals. relationships, money, health, and beauty. Those tend to be the big four in broad categories. Now, you're going to be able to drill down and find specific topics, but typically, people are always going to be looking to solve problems or accomplish goals in those areas, and they're going to be motivated to buy or find information that will help them to either move faster or to shortcut the process to find something that's effective for them. Now, if you look at markets where people are already buying information, that's where you're going to get the clues on the profitable niche market. So when you start thinking about these broad areas, right, you'll be able to find, you'll be able to find those, 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 those numbers of books, those multiple products where people are selling and people are buying in order to overcome the solutions. But you will be able to go outside of those four areas when you look at areas where people are already buying books and other information. Those are also going to be profitable niche markets. Now, you might ask, now, where and how am I going to find those niche markets? Now, here's what you are going to do. You are going to want to start with some basic ideas from Google and Amazon. And I'm going to show you those right now. You are looking at the Amazon bestseller list. And if you just go to Google and you type in bestseller and Amazon, you're going to find a link that will show you all of Amazon's bestseller. And as you know, Amazon is one of the largest retailers of many things in the entire world. And so what we're going to do is we are going to look for those places where people are buying information. And so we will go to the bestseller category and we're going to look first at books. Now we can look at all those categories, but in particular, this is going to give us an idea quickly of areas that people are looking for solutions in. Now you can do this and you can find them very quickly by going to the, the particular section where your niche is. Right, and you want to keep your uh, you want to keep your search within those bestseller categories because again, it's going to tell you where people are buying the most books. In particular, um, if you are looking in the area of business, as many of you are, if you're watching this this video, you're trying to find out how to do more business. And in particular, if you're focused in a particular area, let's say you're trying to help people who are looking for jobs in particular, and you're trying to help them and give them products and services. Well, these are going to be the things that people are actually buying books about. They're going to be buying books about taking, uh, you know, taking it exams and they're talking about coding and they're talking about the four hour work week. And so 
these are going to give you ideas of where people are actually looking. Now, you can do this inside of any niche. Now, that's one way of being able to look at a niche and trying to figure out which niche that you want to operate in. Another great, uh, great site to do this on is google.com forward slash trends. And that site is going to show you where things are trending and what's really hot in terms of what people are searching for on the internet. This is going to give you some great ideas about things that you can look at that will, that, that will tell you, well, these are the things that people are actually going to the web in order to solve their problem. Now, when you look at this, you are going to go and you're going to click this link that says explore in depth. That's going to take you inside of Google Trends and all you've got to do is add in your particular niche. Now, in this case, let's say that our niche is dog training. That's the classic, uh, uh, classic uh, uh, niche example. And we were to click this, and in particular, um, we would then uh, we would then look at our particular time. We would look at maybe the last 12 months and not the last 30 days, right? We see that there is some interest there, and we can get inside of Google uh, Google Trends, and we can find these searches that people are actually looking for. Now, one real secret to this is to look at this area called rising searches to see if you can find a topic or a niche where people are focusing on. Now, I don't really particularly know what karma dog training is, but perhaps it is a niche. It is a rising search. Dog training in Dublin or whatever lucky dog training is. So you get the idea. You want to use Google Trends in order to find those niches and those rising searches where people are actually looking for information along with Amazon. Now, when you do this and you start getting inside of Google and Amazon, you want to start narrowing them down to an area of focus. The, the smaller the niche and the more tightly focused typically is the best place where you can find a good market or a good market niche. Now, the other thing that you want to do as you start to narrow down, you're going to want to take a look at the web or, you, or a particular Google search to see if people are actively, lurching, actively searching for solutions. And there are a couple of ways of being able to do this. One, of course, is to do a basic Google search, but the other is to look at a website, and I'm going to show it to you now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in AdWords keyword tool, and I'm going to look for the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. Now that AdWords Keyword Planner is going to allow me to put in my keywords to find out, well, how many people are searching for this on a monthly basis. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to click in here and I'm going to type in here, dog training. And I can probably put in all that other information, but all I'm going to do is click get ideas. And what's going to happen is Google is going to do a little calculation and I'm going to see some areas that Google will give me some clues. I can either look at ad group ideas, but to keep it simple, I'm just going to click here for keyword ideas. And these keyword ideas will give me some ideas of what are people really searching for? What is it that people are really, really looking for? And even though that these, even though that these keywords are based for advertisers, it really will give us on a level of monthly searches, it'll tell us what's more popular in terms of search and what isn't. So you want to use the Google AdWords keyword tool to start trying to figure out, okay, are people really searching for this information? Do they really want solutions? And what in particular stands out to me? Now, as you're narrowing down your solutions, one thing that you're going to want to consider is whether or not the market is dominated by companies that are too large to compete against. Now, if you find that uh, you're, you're looking at companies that are well-established and there are a lot of them in your particular niche, well, you might want to start thinking to narrow down your niche. In general, the smaller the niche, 
the better you're going to fare in order to find the market that you want. Now, but you do also want to make sure that there are people who are actually looking for what it is that you are going to be marketing. Now, once you have a market with a significant level of interest, with a reasonable level of competition, you can begin your work in that niche. And so that is how you're going to go through the process of picking a profitable niche market. And when you do, you are then going to be ready to find an area or to find a product for you to promote. Now, in the next video, we are going to discuss where you're going to find those affiliate products where people have already done the work for you to be able to promote them in order to earn an income and make money online. So with that, thanks, and I will see you in the next video. And this was just one of many courses in the online e-learning arena as to how to operate an online business. In fact, it, it's probably one of the core courses because everyone needs to know exactly what was presented in this video. Now, I, I want to lead you to a place that's going to give you a full curriculum of e-learning courses you'll simply come in log in and your video lesson will be right there as soon as you log in you just go to the particular course you need to learn watch it you can pause it you can download it take notes if you want but i just want to show you the various course titles if we just scroll down you can see here we have world-class e-learning courses to match your budget and the first course package here as you'll see is called the elevation course package here is the particular specifics within this curriculum you see the different subject matters here you'll see here and then the next one is the elevation elite curricula you'll see there and these are just the main courses within these particular curriculums there's more being always being added and the next one is going to be the vertex curriculum and you'll see here and and of course you're also seeing not only the different courses per curriculum package but you're also seeing the price points now the higher the price points the more intense the subject matter and uh, another good thing about it is the particular, the higher the course curriculum package you get, the, you also get all the courses that come underneath it. But there's also something extra that's really awesome about this particular e-learning platform. The course that you get also enables you to resell up to that course. So if you were to get this particular course package that you see here, not only would you get all the courses that came underneath it as well as with it, but you also earn income if you should choose to refer. So for example, if you go ahead and refer, say you refer this package, the Vertex Elite, then you would receive $500. And that $500 is immediately payable to you. It's instantly payable, meaning as soon as the customer pays, the funds are electronically delivered right to you. And there are several custom ways you can set that up. Don't worry. You'll just come on over to e1u.easymoneysite.info. You come to a page similar to this, and you're simply going to want to hit this particular link that says we want to hit the one moment. You'll hit that join link and you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. There's me there and a brief introduction of myself, a little bit about where I'm from, uh, what basically got me started. My why was basically just so I wouldn't have to work the toxic refinery or the prison system, which is the biggest jobs where I'm at. And just so I could be more free. I also have uh, another video you'll hear if you care to watch it. Uh, and it's going to talk about some bonuses that I'm giving you. Uh, I'll let you, I'll leave that for your own viewing there. You'll just come to this page. You'll fill out this brief information here. Brief contact information. Choose a username and a password. 
and uh, enter the code and you'll start your journey and you're gonna pick one of those product course packages you're gonna pick up one of those product course and uh, you'll see them again here once again this site is e1u.easymoneysite.info thank you for taking the time to watch this video this is William Caleb looking forward to seeing you on the inside at e1u.easymoneysite.info peace and light everything's gonna be alright